Today's video is brought to you by Grey Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and for every deck I play that's complete jank and awful, I need to play something that's good as well with it, right? And so we're going to play some Gruel Bosch today. So, so Gruel Bosch, I think it has a chance of being really, really powerful. Uh, I tried to throw in basically Goldsman Dragon into this. So great thing about Goldsman Dragon, it's big, it's massive, and it's awesome. Or it's, it's it's a four four with flying and haste, which is really great. And it's a great thing to play the turn after Obosh, where all of a sudden we get a hidden for eight damage in the in the air, and all of a sudden have some extra ramp and do the cool stuffs. Uh, and so that's that's the idea. That's what we're trying to do. We're, we're gonna do that thing. Uh, the other thing I was looking at is just Obosh with Akum Hellhound. I don't think I ever did that uh, with some some landfalls type of stuff. Mammoths, uh, Hellhound, Beanstalk Giant have already already been like big plays in the past anyway just you know get out some stuff hit hard and it's good stuff i also wanted to throw in one yadaro if we ever do get up to seven mana which with great hinge with the manas that we end up having there's still a chance that we do with beanstalk giants too uh we're all of a sudden it's just a 16 point of damage swing if we have obosh out in the battlefield so yeah we, we do have obosh it's it's not in the main main deck at all it's just in the sideboard so yeah we're not gonna or uh, companion zone which means we're not gonna have it all the time but we're just playing some good stuff on our odd cards and so here we go uh that's basically the idea of the deck uh so if you guys want to check out the gameplay links in the, in the description below for the timestamp and uh let's go ahead and dive into the deep dive now of this deck so what do we have in the, in the one drop slot so we have quite a few uh uh adventure creatures so we have edge keeper which works great with left beast because we have another one one that we can play out i was debating and throwing like fervent champion or something else that it's a one one here in this slot but i just really like the idea of a coon held down with obosh i think that can be really powerful where this is just a card that gets really massive at times and having that able to do double damage with obosh also turns these one drops that might survive a few extra turns into some pretty legitimate you know threats and so that's kind of the idea here with the kuma health hound instead and so left Shark beast might not be able to attack in as often but still just it's an amazing card in general so we keep it so yeah we have our bone crusher giant we have left Shark beast we have our beanstalk giants as just a two of in this one because i wanted to have we kind of have more ramp with goldsman dragon we have ramp in other ways uh but yeah it's, just, it's still a good card so two of is good there edge lane keeper just ends up being a really powerful play for us shocks uh and spike hazards are just a perfect uh, one mana of things that we can deal damage to. I was debating and throwing going into uh, Snowlands with this and bringing in like frost bites and stuff, but I do with Obosh want the ability to throw damage at face. It's just so powerful, so good to do, so might as well. Uh, and so I, I do think there is a deck where you don't have Obosh as a companion, but play basically a deck like this and then bring in like Torbran with Obosh. Uh, I, I think that actually can be a legitimate deck where you have like Obosh, maybe the double thing, double damage. You can have like the giant guy that does double damage. You have five emancipation I, I kind of want to do a mono red deck that's just built around that we might do that in the future it's just like at some point we're going to be doing extra damage with all our stuff <laughs> so uh but right now these are just good good removal spells shocks don't kill everything but with obosh they're going to doing pretty well between bone crusher giant all this stuff can do some stuff as well so bone crusher giant i don't think i need to talk about you guys know it's amazing because those fury however is a three meta spell and when it sacrifices a creature it says because those fury does the damage equal to any target of any power so it's a three meta spell which means that we get double damage off that so if we were able to you know sacrifice a gargaroth with Kazul's fury or maybe a beanstalk giant with Kazul's fury which potentially would win anyway but we would get double that damage with obosh it's just it just sounds fun and good stuff uh mammoth big can be a really big creature you guys know about it low strike beast all these things just helps us with our mana base we have 22 lands uh with four mana here and two here so we actually have quite a bit of mana that's 26 28 so i mean like almost 30 percent or 50 percent lands uh just to be able to make sure that we can hit land drops for landfall triggers also get us up to our bigger stuff at times that's why i don't feel bad about running like one godzilla here which i think does fit into a deck pretty well if we can get like great hand john to it in the early game we can cycle it goes back to the library so we can run into it again later on like it's just it's, i think it's actually a pretty good play for us in general just to have uh a yadaro too like i i, I was going to go up to two but i wanted to also play like one gargroth one vivian you know a couple of things here and there Goldsman Dragon, uh, kind of the main the main Caldine card here that we're playing uh, with our uh, the new pathways. Oh, these aren't even the new pathways. Anyway, yeah, it, it's it's the main Caldine card that we're playing, and that's that's good though because this deck really needed a good five drop. And this is the perfect five drop. It's now the best five drop you can possibly play in this. I, I could also see us potentially running like uh, the Phoenix in the three drop slot as well. Something else like that, that, that could be good. There's enough uh, mill still in the format right now that the Phoenix might be nice to be playing here. Uh, you know, let's, let's go and throw in one copy of Phoenix. Um, 
and we'll drop one mammoth since like, like i said we had a lot of lands anyway so let, let's do that i i like to have these kind of one of into things here to play around with other fun stuff anyway that's the way i like to play magic i hope you guys enjoy it if you do make sure you guys are liking subscribing all the kind of all that kind of stuff it definitely helps pre and i appreciate it i'm trying to remember to ask for that at the beginning and the intro here because i found that that's when people actually do subscribe so i anyway you know do it it's great and uh let's jump into some gameplay here we go wish me luck up against g temple and uh man i love hellhound on turn one but without the green mana here we technically could like beanstalk giant get a little bit more ramp going for us if we do have it we still have something else to play if we just find another red source um it's not the worst of hands but it could be better let's mull again let's try to find three lands in hand sure drop Grizzle's fury this is actually a pretty sweet hand yeah we'll keep it Lots of removal. Hopefully we're up against an aggro deck. I don't think you ever are supposed to hope for that, right? But but we have answers for that. So, you know, let's do that. All right, grab red manas. Perfect draw. Pass the turn. Hold up the shock. Getting shocky. Um, I think I would have forced him to have start discarding, right? Could just kill the all seed. We still have left check beast to block as well. I guess we get rid of the protection. All the sky claves is what I'm worried about. I'd rather than just like have to discard a few more cards. Let's just get a little bit higher in advantage. Play out left check beast. I think they're willing to discard a card to kill the 1-1. One, one. Do we actually care about this 1-1? One, one? I mean, in some cases, it's better just to have more defenders. Um, let's go ahead and go for it. This is kind of showing as well that we have more, so it's like, sure. Uh, and, and honestly, I think I'm fine trading off with this for discard. This gives us like even more card advantage. This was a one card thing. We still got to keep the other side of it, and they get to get rid of another card. Yeah, I, yeah, well, that means we don't get to hit in as aggressively. But we have Gold Spin Dragon to do that later. And I think that's going to be a better play for us anyway. Like, if they can just, we're just going to have a stalemate here eventually. Luminarch Aspirant. And there we go. All right, sweet. Um,. Stomp at Luminarch. Edge Lane Keeper swinging with the 5-5. Five five. Life's good. Life is great. All right. All we need now for this hand to be the best hand ever is a red source for Gold Spent Dragon. And then our hand is phenomenal. And then we Obosh on the next turn if we hit a land. Right? And we need eight mana. We'll have five... Six, seven, land gives us eight. Yeah, so that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, gold spend into, into Obosh from Companion Zone as long as we curve out with lands. I like it. All right, Sentinel is kind of annoying here. Full show. No blocks. Uh, we get some card draw, though. All right, there we go. Gold spend dragon. Yeah, swing in. Treasure. Down to 11. And uh, we do go for the Obosh. Hopefully, if we hit a land. Dude, this is we, we've drawn pretty well. This is great stuff. Glass Casket. Hits Edgel Innkeeper. Okay. No more card draw. No blocks. It might be worth blocking earlier than later. Well, not quite the land we're hoping for, but not the worst. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, I think I just want to go wide, actually, right now. Okay. 
Now, getting the Obot should be sweet. If we find untapped land, that's great. But I think I would rather just go wide here. Swing in. Down to seven. Obosh to hand. I mean, they're only stuck on two lands. I've seen this deck so many times it's stuck on two lands. So that's that's kind of how it's built. You know, they purposely don't have that many lands in the deck. I don't feel bad for them. So I could double block. They can only kill one thing. They have to use self as savior. I guess, yeah, it doesn't really matter here. Um, this isn't attacking, right? So we'll just block here. Force them to get rid of a blocker. And then Obosh to hit in with more stuff. Yeah. Taps it down. Okay. I, we have the game with Obosh anyway, right? With Goldspan Dragon, so we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Life's great. We're great. It's all good. Gargroth has a sweet jaw there, too. Alrighty, then. This is actually a pretty good hand. We still have Hellhounds being really fast. If we're up against an aggro deck, this is less good, but we're going to try this one out. Being on the play here would be phenomenal. Not being on the play, going to hurt a smidge. A lot of Hellhounds. Lots and lots of Hellhounds. All right, get number one out. Mammoth on the next turn, Hellhound number two. And then we go Fable Passage. Potentially go Beanstalk Giant. Actually, that would be awesome. Giant Killer comes out, draws a card. Cool. Hellhound number two. Um. So Mammoth. Swing in. Takes it down to 18. Okay, untapped land. Deck. You can do it. Shepherd of the Flock. No blocks. All right, Love Struck Beast token. Hellhound. Attack in. Do I actually use a field passage here? I could save it for the next turn and get like all of the damage. This is eight though, and we have Beanstalk Giant with the Fable Passage on the next turn and still be able to play uh, like an Angel Innkeeper. Um, that's good stuff. That's great stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We doing it, boys. Hit for eight. I mean, have the life total down low and then having three guys hit in for a bunch on the next turn. Good stuff. Showdown of the Scalds. Not enough to tap anything down. They're going to have to lose all their creatures and not be basically dead here. Bonecrush Giant, we can also play with this, right? So, yeah. Um, so, Fable Passage. Uh, Beanstalk Giant. On Red Manas. Uh, we killed Giant Killer, actually, because everything else trades off pretty well. So we can swing at the 1-1 one, one if we want to as well. Uh, forest. What's the chance that we can stomp face instead? Nah, let's just get in for the damage. So they have to block two of the Hellhounds. Um, get in for seven. Down to three. Maybe I should have held on to the bone strike. I don't know. Whatever. That was good. All right. So this is the Unleash Fury with Goldsman Dragon deck, which is so cool, by the way. Big fan. So they have to play Goldsman Dragon from hand. Swing in. 
unleash fury target itself and then hopefully it doesn't go off with everything um they'll be close dude that is a, such a fun deck we need to do that sometime too, soon they have it gold sweat dragon swing in unleash fury get more treasure because it targets itself and if they have like two more in hand then we're just dead um okay actually it's just one where they only ever need two that's so good okay uh i, I want to land here but yeah let's just go about cold sweat dragon <laughs> there we go uh i guess could have something all right sweet we got there we did it nice nice we are up against the shadow and uh, a massive hit from Hellhound on turn one. We have 28 lands in this deck. I, I keep having to reiterate that, but that's a good amount of lands. And this is very aggro against the Yorion deck on the play if we hit a good land here. So we're going to go for it. Hello there. Hello. In Jerusha, in Consol Hans and Monik, Jess and Monik, is the steel of Hermonik. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. My bad. All right. Uh, yeah, we get to Fable Passage, hit in for 8, 9, 10, 11. That's aggro for ya. Glass casket. All right. Yeah, they've got some good removals. We have to play smart now. Can't just throw stuff out there. Just throw it at the wall. Um, Double green for the Gargaroth. Yeah, technically we can play everything else just fine. And I probably will play out a shock or a stomp for this next one. So it's all good. Pass the turn. Down to 13. Golden egg. That's potential life gain for them. Let's go faster than they can fathom. I'm getting a little bit into this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right, come on, land. Come on, land. I believe in you. Let's do. Down to 11. No blue mana. It would seem. Nice. Nice. Get a hold of the shock as well. Yes. This is so great. Down to 18. Pass the turn. Fable Passage, I think, gets us lethal. With a shock. Apparition. Ah. Takes the left shook beast. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shock that fool. Still have a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, no land. Sad day. Alright, so there's a chance for like Shadow's Verdict here. They're down to 4. We have lethal on board. I actually might just bring Obosh to hand here instead. Hold off on the Bone Crusher Giant for a little bit. We have... A good chance at killing him here. I think overcommitting is the biggest thing that could hurt us. So I like being Bunkshire Shite because we could have the Great Henge, but we have to expect them to have some sort of board wipe soon. Cling to dust. Gains, uh, doesn't gain life, draws a card. Um, with Hellhound on the battlefield, all we need is a field passage. So this forces them to board wipe on this turn, basically. If we hit land, we can Gargaroth. Uh, Obosh is good stuff, too. We'll try this out. Apparition. Takes the Hellhound. Okay. Stomp. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Did not get it. Well, swing in here. Um, if they want to block the 1-1 one, one instead, I'm fine with that. Yeah. So say they, they have to block the 3-3. Three, three. We will get out Gargaroth. Gargaroth. 
We have a bunch of even creatures. So this dodges Shadow Verdict. It dodges uh, Extinction Event. All that they can play here that kills us is Doomscar. Or this slows us down. Um, trying to think if there's anything else they can do. Crippling Fear doesn't kill us now. I guess Shatter the Sky is another one. But we at least get to draw a card that way. Yes, all right, sweet. Got him! Up against Gustavo Garcia and a lot of slow lands, which to an extent we can play around with the deck. This is actually an amazing hand, but the slowness of our hand is bad. Um, I actually might be able to keep this still, though. Just the value of what we have in this hand is still good. Let's throw out Mammoth first. I think I'd rather get Lovestruck Beast. We can shock and stomp on later turns. Yeah, it would have been nice to, to shock or stomp now, but... All right, there's a left check beast token. Great uh, Fable Passage, pass the turn. Just getting out of 5-5 five, five in this matchup is so nice to do, so we're going to get to that as quickly as possible. Which right now is not very fast. <laughs> All right, we don't want to see any rogues. Stompy boys. All right, that's fine. I shouldn't be giving me more information right now, but I don't really care. It's not going to change what they're going to do. They're going to attack in. We need the red source. It's just a little bit earlier for us. All right. Uh, yeah, it's still not to our untapped lands. Yay. We only have... I actually purposely only put in four untapped lands or in the deck, and we found three of the four. First game. That sounds about right. Pass the turn. <laughs> Hold up the stop for uh, Rogue. Beanstalk Giant, or not, whatever, I don't know. If the artist is going to play out Bunker Giant, I do want to kill this before combat. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Because I'd rather not let this get too big. Do it now. Stomp it. Next turn, we get to play uh, Love Shuck Beast out and hold up Shock. Um, that gets us up to five lands altogether. All right. Grab green source. Play out Love Shook Beast. Pass the turn. Annex. The annexation of Puerto Rico. Um, I'm guessing this is a Rimrock Knight or something. I'm still fine trading off and, and having that happen. We get to Goldspin Dragon on the next turn now. Yeah, Rimrock Knight. As expected, they get some 1-1s. One I wouldn't mind a way to kill this Annex. Embercleave is still really annoying for us. Um, yeah, this way we can grab... A green source since we already have a mountain. Do, how much? I actually do need more red mana in general, right? Hmm. I guess we'll have Goldspin Dragon to get us green mana, so. Um, don't shock yet. Could potentially keep him off of the Embercleave. If they go to combat, we can Spike Field Hazard. Um, and shock. And now we keep him off of the Embercleave unless they hit land and then they can Embercleave then anyway. Let's do this. Okay, Bone Crusher Giant, pass the turn. We also just kill Annex after they target it with the Embercleave. Uh, and exile it so it doesn't actually create a token. It's not the worst. 
Okay, plays out the land. So now killing stuff beforehand doesn't help us stop Embercleave. Gold Sven Dragon. Swing with everything. Okay. That's enough for an Ember Cleave. Or Frostbite. Okay. Alright, so Shock, Hazard. All right, so we go down to 12. Um, Goldsman Dragon, get us some extra mana. Do nothing with it yet. Phoenix of Ash, don't have enough to pump, but we can chump. Faceless Haven kills us. Mammoth, we can block Faceless Haven. Still taking tw uh, six this turn. Mammoth, I think, is the best play. Another Frostbite would be bad. Because we can still chump block Goldspin Dragon with uh, the Phoenix of Ash. I just want to stop the Faceless Haven from killing us here. Castle Embreath is also a pretty good play for them. Um, hmm. Annex. Fervent Champion. Yeah, taking six. All sorts of ouch. As long as they're not finding the, the Ember Cleave, we're at least in somewhat good shape. All right, we want removal. Another Gold Spend Dragon. Well, it's not like we're going to be blocking much else. Castle and Breath kills us, though. Pass the turn. We'll make him do it. Sometimes I've forgotten in the past, so maybe they forget. Yeah, it's definitely better to Castle and Breath there. But I think we're still dead. Oh, they had enough. That's right. Gold Spend Dragon. Yeah, all sorts of dead. Every little bit of that is dead. D-E-D. -E -D, dead. Up against Little Donut. It's so cute. Um, Yadaro can actually um, cycle for us to try to find something else into Beanstalk Giant. So, like, we have get out red mana, cycle, hopefully find land, ramp and goldsman dragon on turn four or something like that as a possibility um and then great henge into beanstalk giant so if everything goes right this isn't the worst i, I want to go ahead and try this out why not <laughs> why not because you don't have very good lands oh yeah dang it <laughs> my bad all right up against super aggro Good. That's what I wanted to play against right now. All right, Stompy Boy off the top. That's not the worst. Don't absolutely have to cycle here. I wouldn't mind having a one a five five on the next turn. Season Hollow Blade. Come on, attack in. You know you want to. Darn it. Nothing. All right, we cycle main phase, try to hit a land. That's a land, not the right color of land, but we, we got a land. That's all that matters here. No attacks, pass the turn. All the Skyclaves have everything. All right. Um... Would I rather them try to discard or make sure the selfless savior dies? Great's a warrior. Yep, Sax is indestructible. And a 17. Love Shook Beast is pretty good though. Oh, come on, the land. 
We don't even have enough to like play two things out here. I could go Beanstalk Giant, Edgewell Innkeeper, draw a card on the next turn. We'll do that. Let's just get Love Shuck Beast out. Um, Skyclave Apparition would be awful. This is just kind of bad sequencing. We have actually a lot of really good cards against what they're doing. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. They have it all. They have everything. We, we could have had Great Henge on the next turn and Double Edge One Keeper draw two cards. Like, that would have been amazing. All right, well... Let's find a flipping land. We only have 28 lands in the deck. Uh, innkeeper. Yep. We're not just straight dead, but we're pretty dang close, right? So, yeah, we're, we're out of here. I, we don't win the next turn, so it's all good. We're out of here. All right, I'm against Delky Delks and a uh, pretty sweet hand, actually. This is amazing. Beanstalk Giant, also pretty sweet with this hand. Yeah, I like the slots. I wouldn't mind one more untapped land because uh, I'd like to actually play out Hellhound, Lustric Beast on this next turn. And then I wouldn't mind a land to play out the Lustric Beast and then Fable Passage for massive hits. No blocks. Oh, hey, buddy. What are you doing in here? Do you want to come sit with me? I guess I guess you're sitting in here now. Definitely didn't want that. Okay. Hellhound number two. Forest. Grow the dudes. Swing in. Down to 18. And left struck beast. Okay. Now go tell mommy. Go tell mommy. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi, buddy. Goodbye. <laughs> but hey, I got a soda. Sweet, I'll take it. Uh, no blocks. Clarion Spirit. There we go. Perfect sequencing. Doesn't get much better than this. We can go land into Love Shark Beast Token or Beanstalk Giant into Love Shark Beast Token if we want. That's two lands that hit the battlefield now again. You have these guys all hit on another turn. Yeah, I think we just do that. Um, it is another green source. We have Fable Passage for other colors so later, right? So we're fine. So, Beanstalk Giant. Grab another green source. It's untapped. Love that card. <laughs> um, there you go. Take eight, why don't ya? You know, if you don't mind. If it's all right with you. <laughs> There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Down to 10. Might have been worth getting in for the ninth points of dam damage there, but nah. Play it safely. Uh, gold span dragon off the top was probably just lethal. Just we win games and such. And opponents keeps it up. There we go. Sweet. And that's where hellhounds become awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Up against turn dude sideways, and this guy is someone like me, and I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, keep this. I think it's Yorion. Definitely wouldn't mind finding an untapped land so that we can get Bone Crusher Giant on turn, Bone Crusher Giant on turn three out. That'd be great with twenty eight lands in the deck. We should have a pretty good chance of having it. I'm still amazed. Uh, I've, I've played a few games. This might end up being first if it's a good one. But uh, I've played many a game with this deck so far. And still no like no land, hand that has more than like two lands. Or like two in an awkward one. But you know what? 28 lands is supposed to be a pretty good amount, you know. Ah, uh, rude. All right. Now do we just want to ramp up to that Goldspan Dragon with the Beanstalk Giants? Could be worthwhile. We'll see. 
All right, stomp face. Hit ya. Disruption. Good play. Good play. I hate you so much now. <laughs> All right, uh, get out the mammoth. Love Shuck Beast token. Uh, we'll hold up Shock. Pass the turn. Not totally sure what all they're playing here. I'm guessing that this is the uh, ultimatum version. And so I think I'm just going to throw as much damage at face as possible. Part of me wants to just ramp. Um... One more land and we can play both of these in one turn. We're just gold spend dragon and do it after. This does give us lots of damage on board, you know, so if it doesn't die, it's great. Bind needle gods, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Gold spend dragon, sweet. All right, keeping the pressure Alive. They get a ramp on the next turn. We bring them down to 11. They go up to 6 mana, 7 mana. They go for it on the next turn. We get to bring out Obosh with the Goldspan Dragon. If I hit a land, I believe. Yorion. Blink the blame. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Screwed. Sweet. All right, and now we just hope they don't have ultimatum in hand. They had everything else in hand, you know, so we just need to hope. Hope just a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's bring Mobosh to hand. Why not? All right, no attacks, pass the turn. Beanstalk Giants into Obosh does create lethal situations. Ultimatum on this turn means that we're dead. Ah, guess what? They had flipping everything. Not even a hiccup once. Not one time. Dude, sometimes it's just really annoying, you know? Uh, there's no way we win from this point. Even if we pick the right things, we're just we're just dead. All right, we get Basco and only one green mana, but I think we can make this hand work quite well for us. Fervent Champion. I actually might spike Field Hazard and get some removal before the Hellhound now. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and play out this. Pass the turn. Between Cycle Hazard, Bone Crusher Giant, we might be able to kill a few good things. Hey, right, they are going to take something off the top. We get to Bone Crusher Giant on the next turn. Ah! Alright. <laughs> good thing it wasn't something amazing or anything. Um, yeah, just in case they have Infuriate, we'll go ahead and stomp now. Don't want to give them a free card to play. That's good. So we can play out Giant. Uh, I wonder if just playing out the Beast is better here and like not care about it being able to attack. Yeah, I think that's what we do. I could have gone for the token and two Hellhounds as well, head in for more damage, try like racing, but we're, we were on the draw here. They had a pretty strong start. I think we just need to slow them down as much as possible and then build up to things like Beanstalk Giants that are just massive. Um, all right, Innkeeper. Now let's just swing in. We'll see if they have removal for it right away. You know, let's, let's go ahead and put on the pressure. They can turn on Faceless Haven as a blocker. They can double block. Uh, which we don't actually get to kill it, so stomps now, okay. That's fine. Hellhound, Hellhound. Uh, we will get out Kizul's Fury. 
Yeah. It could be nice as a way to kill something with Left Shock Beast. Block something, kill something that gets Ember Cleaved. We need lands. Fast turn. With a land off the top and untapped land, we get still get to do some pretty fun stuff. All right, so one Hellhound down. Rude. Lots of Bone Crushers. Faceless Haven still kind of annoying. Yeah, they can't really do too much still here. Uh, yeah, untapped land is definitely our best play. So we can play Beanstalk Giant and this. Rimrock Knight just for the trade. Keep a bigger bar board on the battlefield. That's what I'm guessing. I'm fine with that. Yep. Yeah, the tokens are a little bit annoying. Uh, so now we didn't get the uh, thing. So Bone Crusher Giant Love Shuck Beast token. We're just Love Shuck Beast, right? Yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah, can't do that. Right. The mana. I, I, I got it the first time I was thinking about it, and then I didn't. I forgot about the second time. You know, I, I can only think about things for so long before I'm like, what? Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got gotcha. you. I, I know what's up now. Because <laughs> I'm a doofus. In case you didn't know. They get more tokens. They don't have the Ember Cle or Castle Umbreath just yet, but... Yeah, we, we keep trading off with the big dudes. Keep our life total up a little bit higher. Rimrock Knight. Another red mana. Uh, I'm not blocking with Hellhound, so I might as well get in for some damage, right? They can only block with Annex. So Faceless Haven's annoying. We're just blocking with its Love Shock Beast, so I'm fine jumping with a 1-1 one, one here too. Blocking Rimrock Knight would be great. Goes to combat immediately. This feels like an Ember Cleave. That's amazing if they found it. Good for you, sir. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we had a shot if they didn't find this. Now, I don't think we do. We played a bit too slow. Land gets us being Sock Giant, which is big. But our life total is just low enough now that I don't think we have a good chance. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Well, that's almost a land. All right, well, you got us. You had the hand, we did not. All right, I'm against Penetronic. Uh, this hand is good, but it's worse against a Yorion deck. The only, yeah, let's see here. Let's keep, um, if Ezreal Innkeeper gets to survive for a turn, we get to actually start drawing cards with it, it would be great, but we have no guarantee in the hand. Let's let's go ahead and try to mulligan for something a bit better. I like Love Shuck Beasts, Love Shuck Beasts better. Keep this, drop a, a Fury. Twenty-eight lands in the deck, right? We should be able to find more. I keep not having that happen, but twenty-eight lands in the deck should happen. <laughs> this is a fairly aggressive hand, so hopefully it's enough. All right, get out a token. Pass the turn. All right, hazard tapped. Attack in. Token number two. Pass the turn. Some good guys on the top end. They are on the play though, and it is looking like it's the ultimatum deck, which is just a very good spicy deck. Ooh. Didn't actually expect that. No blood chief's thirst, please. Good, 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 good. All right, now we have a good shot. All right, Love Beast. 
Um, we are going to go ahead and try to close off. I, Lotus Cobra getting up to ultimatum faster is worse for us than other stuff. All right, so this also has mammoths. Lotus Cobra. This is ultimatum, but a very different version. No land. <gasps> Whoa, bro. I almost want Obosh here. Swing in. Yeah, I can't even jump here. Uh, extinction event destroys us. They didn't hit land, right? So we're gonna we're gonna hope, right? I'm just gonna try for it. Try for the absolute lethal on the next turn. Tap land. Still is still they can play it. Keeps a land on top, I'm guessing. Black mana, do you have it? Binary Gods, that's a lot better than Extinction Event for us. Not a land. Uh, only one green source, so we play this out again like that. Dude, come on, let us find a land. Again, 28 lands in the deck. <laughs> I, we, we did find five, technically, so here it's like it's not like it's that that off for 11 cards. This actually is about right. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's all good. Life's fine. On this one, this, this time. Okay, down to eight. Loses the left struck beast, or sorry, the uh, the cobra, lotus cobra. It's land. If they find, they don't have any blue mana, so they can't, or they have one white now, so they can't do any Yorion shenanigans. Um, the worst thing here is a shadow's verdict. That would be awful. But we can go land into goldsmith dragon. Life's great. Cling to dust. Gain some life up to eleven. And I probably skip set up. All right, not too shabby. I think they meant to draw uh, draw something there instead, but they didn't. Ha. All right, up against roguelike, which by the way, man, I love roguelike games. They're so fun. Uh, this is a pretty sweet hand. I actually like this a lot. On the pl uh, on the play would be even better. On the draw, it's it's a thing we could do. We have big threats and early game threats. Against rogues, roguelike. <laughs> uh oh, we'll see. Being on the play would be so much better in this matchup. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, we're going for it. We're all in. Um, one one downside of this is we don't get to play Mammoth on the next turn now because we go for red mana here because we have so much green mana. So I, I probably should have just played out the forest instead. Save that for later. We can go Beanstalk Giant though. Get some ramp. Get to start playing our bigger stuff a turn earlier. It's not a bad play. Hopefully just find like a one drop play to play. Down to 16. They are going to play out cards. I know it took a while for them to decide, but they did They did it. <laughs> Man, rogues, rogues, rogues. Not, it feels really great to beat rogues, but man, I just don't enjoy the games against rogues that much. And by that much, I mean like, holy crap, I hate it. Of one mind. Did you find a land? All right, tap land. Ooh, shocks would have been nice. All of that stuff would have been fantastic. Uh, all right, we found a one drop play to play. I like it. Ooh. 
swinging. They jump. Just shy of the eight mark. Kind of surprised they didn't just take it there. Getting that the death touch. I guess we will probably have. They're expecting us to have lots of removal and whatnot. Uh, Fable Passage. Come on. All right. We want them to tap out and we get the Goldspan Dragon. Start ramping. Gargroth is also awesome. Lots of mill. Uh, I guess grab another red source. I'm really expecting counter spell. So let's actually let's go for the the Gargaroth. We'll swing in just with this one. I'd rather have the haste creature for when their life total is a little bit lower. The ramp on this would be awesome to have right now, so we can like play out a bean crusher beanstalk giant earlier or get Obosh back, but. I want to live more. Next turn we can go Mammoth and bring Obosh to hand if we need to as well. Yeah. We're keeping the threats alive. Essence Scatter. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And they did have the Soaring Thought Thief, so glad I didn't swing at the Innkeeper. Okay. Three cards in hand. At some point, they're going to not have stuff, you know? And then they're going to cast into the story, and then they're going to have all of the stuff. You know? <laughs> Mill a little bit more. Down to 30 cards left. Not holding up a blocker. Luris to hand. Good sign. Only two mana to play. Forest. This is definitely the highest upside. Goldspin Dragon. We can swing in and play Mammoth. Um, if they have another Soaring Thought Thief, Hellhound dies. They can also just block out the Rune Crab, right? So just here. Drown in the Lock, I think would have countered it. So they don't have that. So it's got to be Heartless Act. And I don't think they run that many of them. They have to be pretty lucky here for it. Chumps. Intriguing. I guess going down to eight is pretty low. They have Lurish to bring it back. Um, Obosh to hand. If I had like a Fable Passage, that could be massive. Let's go Mammoth. I think I'd rather go wide instead. Just have more threats to play. Pass the turn. <laughs> so much mill. All right. So down to 23 cards. If they play out Soaring Thought Thief with Luris, then we go down even lower. Feels like their only real play. They can bring out the Thieves Guild Enforcer to block stuff on the ground. If we find a stomp, though, we're, we're fine. I guess we'll kill Luris first, though. Uh, still haven't found the Phoenix yet. That would be great. One of these times, we're going to find the Phoenix. All right. Good stuff. Beanstalk Giant. Draw a card. That's a great hinge. Not that it does a whole lot for us. Uh, they don't have Brazen Borrowers. Only two blue mana. I'm just debating how fast we need to kill here. Okay, swing in. 
But we get a great hinge after this. Right. No negates. Innkeeper, draw a card. Having a stomp for next turn to let us swing in a little bit more aggressively. Yeah, boys. I think we're doing it. Um, yeah, they're milling really fast. But I believe we kill them on the next turn with the Elbosh. Only two cards left in hand. And a spike fill hazard. All right, so... What would I rather have resolve? All right, so stomp... Luris. Doesn't counter. Oh, we're a little bit shy. I, I was thinking that we had a bit more mana. Um, all right. Bone Crusher Giant. Draw two cards. Oh, gosh. A fatal passage, though, is huge. And a shock, also huge. Do we have a red source? Uh, we also have Goldsmith Dragon to find us other stuff. Okay, so grab a red. Shock, these Guild Enforcer. Soaring Thought Thief. Mills over some more. All I have to do is save live one turn. We didn't have enough to get Obosh this turn. Oh, man. Okay, and we have the Spike Field Hazard for one more point of damage. If they let themselves go to one, which they're, they're, they're staying alive right now, we might, might just kill the Ruin Crab. Six cards. Oh my gosh. Yes, we got there. Yes, they hit the land. It wasn't even Fatal Passage. If they had had a, another crab, though, we were dead. If they had any like other things to do. So we did get there against Rogues. Yes. Oh, man. That was that was a good game. That was awesome. Uh, it looks like they reset all the statistics for the new the new uh, season or something here. But uh yeah, I don't know why all my stuff is gone. But yeah, Grillbosh. Oh, it's because I just I deleted all of my decks. So that's there. Anyway, so Grillbosh, 60% win rate, uh, six and four. Uh, the games that I lost were just really bad draws. Didn't find lands. They had everything, that kind of stuff, which is just going to happen in Magic. Uh, showing off 10 games, I think, helps a little bit more showing the, the chances of this deck doing well. And it does have a good win percentage on both the play and the draw. Uh, played five times each, one you know, one, three, lost two. And that's just how things are going to go. I, I think that that's actually a really good win percentage for a deck like this. Uh, and I think that you you could have good runs and go into even better, maybe play a few more things for, you know, what's in meta. Uh, you know, if you're seeing lots of stuff, play uh, lots of... Uh, Always little stuff, uh, or sorry, lots of mill and, and rogues. You play more Phoenix of Ash. The biggest issue is finding a way to deal with, um, what's it called? Uh, um, ultimatum, which I'm not sure if it's worth it, but going into like going with Brazen Borrower, uh, you can bring in Brazen Borrower. You could bring in Negates that way as well, although you can't actually negate with this, but you can bring in Mystical Dispute um as a as a good way to counter ultimatum because ultimatum is just probably one of the hardest matchups for us with this deck we win by just going aggro and we did beat ultimatum uh once and i think we lost once and so it's one of those decks where like we just if we have the right stuff the right times we're great uh and so i think just going aggro enough is fine uh but ultimatum is just one of those decks that's really hard to beat right now there's been a lot of other decks that have come in to counteract it so it's seeing less play now but that's just all about trying to figure out what's going on with meta this deck i think is fun it's just, it's just a good one it's nice to play something else goldsmith dragon is a fun fun card it works great with obosh obosh is just like extra kind of like and you didn't do the math on this obosh now kills you you know like it's i just i just really like it it's a fun card i could definitely see us see you going into um 
if you go into Brazen Bar, have up Mystical Disputes, you'd also go into Ultimatum, uh, the Teamer Ultimatum. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, so like a Teamer Ultimatum deck with this too, being able to find maybe Terror of the Peaks and whatever else. Like, there's a lot of fun things you can play with it too. Like, there there is already a really good deck there, and you probably just take out some of the other shocks, some of the lands. Uh, some of the extra like one ofs that we were playing just to bring in a couple of brazen borrowers, uh, mystical disputes for that, and then ultimatum. I think you have a pretty sweet deck. I think Goldsmith Dragon helps that out in every way. And so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. And uh, the secret word for this one is um, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, yep, that's it. Bye.